and mm -hmm. they were taking trips back there and yeah so i heard that and then i also heard that um her dad wanted her peace out because i guess she was worth more unliving than living really something like that but I guess she didn't, like, I, I think because she wanted to focus more on doing American music versus Tejano music, maybe her dad didn't want her to go away because mm -hmm. she was probably going to end up firing him. I, I'm pretty sure that was part of the case too. Like, he was, I think he was nervous that... Um, he was going to get x out of the picture because yeah. he had so much control over her, but he was also, like, forcing her to do stuff she didn't want to, like, sing Tejano music. Yeah. What nails are you using, Max? We, kind of sad because Elena can't defend herself. Yes. We are using Black Label 123 Go in Sculpted Coffin Short. I wonder if also JLo was involved because without Selena, JLo would not be where she is today. Right. So I wonder if JLo was involved too. <laughs> JLo and <laughs> JLo and Selena Saldivar. Yeah. Not uh, what's her Yolanda. Yolanda Saldivar. Her dad adores her, and her sister is so worth it, girls. Get yours before she is gone. I don't know if her dad adored her. I think her dad lived vicariously through her home. I feel like that's more the case too, you know? And her dad was probably scared because she, he really forced himself on her in regards to like the music she would sing and things like that because she wanted to be like Paula Abdul or Janet Jackson or Madonna. Right, and she was well on her way. I was like, especially changing, so I think the dad probably felt like, oh my gosh, if I don't do something, she's gonna like, she's and gonna leave me. What I was thinking too. They and there's my gold mine. They showed pictures of the, the, the public garden. Mm -hmm. they did the, the, the... Yes. Um, they showed the two of them. It was like almost like you know the daddy issues relationship because he was like a really like an older man. Really? Maybe, maybe that was like the. Was he uh, handsome or so so? I mean, when I saw the little snippet of um, what he looked like. Yeah, definitely did. I mean, he could have been attractive. I guess. Back in the day. Yeah. But he probably had money and was well established yeah, too. Of That's what I'm saying. But like you have like some similar draw to that type of mm -hmm. situation. That's kind of the vibe. Daddy issues. We're going to use Razor Clear. We're going to encapsulate some of our illusion glitter. I want to do the glitter kind of going like along the smile line. So I'm going to mark it out. I'm going to map it. Sounds good. Did anybody else watch? I did not watch it, but these are just my crazy conspiracy theories. Let us know in the comments below what you guys thought of the thing with you game. Oh my god, but I did see a clip of her niece. And this is on what streaming platform? I don't know. Well, I, I watched it on Peacock. Oh, really? It's on Peacock? Yeah. Yeah, on OnlyFans? <laughs> you want to see those kinds of pictures? Right. It'll cost you $19.99 a month. I'm just kidding. Um, wait, what were you saying? I interrupted you. Did I interrupt you? I forgot now. Oh my god, that was like three seconds ago. That's what happens when you're old. Oh, I'm three. I don't remember either. Okay. Yes. Were you a Selena fan back in the day? I mean, I'm, I think I'll always be a Selena fan. She definitely like, set, set a bar for herself and like the music industry and, and uh, not a popular opinion i don't think selena was that pretty but i think her personality made her attractive yeah we're going to use a little bit of racer clear along the smile line and we're going to encapsulate some of our illusion glitter for the pocket pocket fantasy Polly pocket let us know in the comments below what toys you played with as a child what did you have power rangers power rangers you were that kid huh? i love power i still to this day love power rangers I've been fortunate enough to actually visit the Power Ranger Museum in Japan. That's so awesome. It was one of my lifelong goals. That's awesome. That's and I got to see them live and that just traumatized me even more because I was like, these people have like 0% body fat. <laughs> <laughs> like literally. That's awesome. Like the guy was like so fit. I was like, geez. Because he's basically wearing a spandex bodysuit. Right. And I was like, there's no like lumps or bumps. Like there's no lojas. It's like he's wearing a giant faja. Her songs in Spanish and didn't know anything I was singing. Bidi bidi bam bam. Right? That's awesome. Bidi 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 bam bam. What was your favorite Selena song? Let us know in the comments below. I like Si la quieres, anda a decirle te amo. No puedes vivir ni un momento sin ella. Que ella te espera y yo me quedo aquí. Oh, and she acted too. She did, she did a telenovela. Holding line and like all these like businesses that she was trying to get started and, and she had a beauty salon too he was the one backing it who the doctor really yeah he was the one 
because I was watching a review on it yesterday and they're like, Selena was a multi-millionaire and I was like, I don't think she was. I think she was on her way, but uh, Tejano music is, out of Latin music in general, it's like 0.7%. So I don't think she was making that kind of money. And they were saying, you know how um, they said like Yolanda was doing it? Mm -hmm. They were talking about how um, Yolanda was doing it. They were talking about how she wasn't because she was even in charge of the, the fan club anymore. The fan club just wasn't making any money to like make their own bills. Really? So it was probably, I think the dad had something to do with that. Right. I mean, it was interesting and something you just watch. I think Selena was definitely on her way to making bank, but I don't think she was like, you know, making like a million dollars a concert or something like that. Yeah. No, I didn't think so. Or she was and her dad was funneling all the money. Probably. But I think they still live a pretty modest life. Really? Mm-hmm. I can imagine. They still try to stay in music, right? Well, they're still milking her memory. Oh, okay. You know who, who got screwed out of milking any memory? Is Elvis. No. Um, oh my gosh. Selena's husband. Happy tree, that guy. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. All of Who owns his intellectual property? Um, a family friend that came into it came in like way after the fact. Mm -hmm. And did he have passed? Yeah, no. He was charged towards the end of his life and convinced somehow got him to sign over all of his rights, but I don't know if his family gets any of the uh, residuals. Really? Why would he do that? He was like conned into it, I guess. Or he probably like it was not um, uh, 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 spoke with like a good attorney or something like that. Yeah. Poor Bob Ross. His family, poor Bob Ross's family. Anything that you buy Bob Ross merchandise. Goes to that guy? Like the owners of... Woman. Really? Like the people that own McDonald's? Like yeah. the movie The Founder? I think I saw that one. Oh, it's really good. Is it? Yes. So originally McDonald's was started by two brothers and they kind of got the short end of the stick in a really poor contract, but they signed it, so... Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. There's always that person like waiting in the... the... In the shadows. Yeah. So right now what I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit of Racer Clear and I'm encapsulating the glitter so that way it does not, the color that I put inside does not bleed into it. Is that because you're going to use two different colors? Is that what you mean? Uh, since the nails are really short, I'm going to do every finger a different color. Okay, got it. But if I put the color on, as, like right now on top of the glitter, it'll bleed into like the little nooks and crannies. Wow. So I want to sandwich it in so that way it looks almost like 3D. Yay, that makes sense. What is everybody saying about Selena's? Really? If you can hear me, press the number one. <laughs> yeah, I, I would definitely watch it. So the doctor was not that good looking then? I think so. Like, you'll have to watch it and see, like, there's always that potential that Kelly is a plastic surgeon. He can make himself look like, however he wants, I guess. Mm -hmm. How did they meet? Did they talk about that? Was she a patient? I think her dad introduced her. Oh I know. The dad was like, Selena, you need lipo. Sounds yeah, like my mom. We got the So this is neon a strawberry. And I use the acrylic so thin, literally like watercolor. I love Selena. And maybe I don't want to believe those things about her. What was the name of the doc documentary? I think it was like Selena and Yolanda. Like it was called that. <laughs> so I was watching, it's, um, it's a drag queen called Luscious Massacre and she was talking about it and she was like, how is Yolanda still a big woman in prison? <laughs> <laughs> She's been in a lot of chicken strips. Oh, not this year, not 2024. Yolanda. Yolanda. I swear, what a she should change her name. I can only imagine. All the and people that were on there talking. Like, move out of Texas, like she should move somewhere where there's like nobody knows of Selena. Like move to Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> move to Pennsylvania. Montana. Move to Montana. Pennsylvania. 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 Don't come to the Southwest. Oh, can you imagine? Go to Hawaii. The further away you are, the better. Did the documentary release already? And if so, on what platform? I think it's on Oxygen, but I watched it like on Peacock. Okay. There's only like it's like a two-part series. Oh, so it's a quick watch. Yeah, it's a quick watch. And then the other one that was like blowing up all over the place was the one about Griselda Blanco. Oh, I know. I watched that one. Well, I watched most of it. I was like, uh -huh. I can't take Sofia Vergara seriously with that. It was hard. With that mug, that is not cute. Yeah. She, she's been eating lots of sandwiches and rice and beans. For real, <laughs> she's been stockpiling her food up in prison. Right. And let's do the um, azul. And they glow in the dark. Yay. Use tiny little baby nails. Tiny little baby nails, my favorite. And one more color. Let's do purple. Purple. Neon violet might look too similar to neon cream because it's very soft. Do you know what it is? Do you want to Teal. Neon teal for the dragon lady effect. Oh, 
pretty. Because we are inspired by Polly Pocket. <laughs> Did anybody play Polly Pocket? Let us know in the comments below what your childhood childhood favorite toy was. I think so. It probably is. And then America is really strict about like our toys. Let's add a little bit of. Oh, I've been really feeling this color too lately. Are you going to post your work right after? Of course, we always do. Oh, okay. All the time. This is French Flash number five, the ivory. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of goodness on the inside. Because you can never have too much sparkle, sparkle. Brad's dolls was my favorite. Oh, Brad's dolls. And now it's like springtime. That's exactly what we were talking about. Springtime Polly Pocket Stripper in Miami. Oh, Polly Pocket and Cabbage Patch Kids. I did have a Cabbage Patch Kid. I like how Cabbage Patch Kids smell. Is that weird? <laughs> I don't remember how Cabbage Patch Kids smell. Oh my gosh, they smell like a buffer. They have a very particular smell. <laughs> like mothballs, but also a little bit sweet. <laughs> remember how they all had like different names? Like all of them came with like their own name. Polly Pockets? No, um, Cabbage Patch Dolls. Oh yeah, like a baby. Yes. And then, do you remember Troll Dolls? Yes, I remember Troll Dolls. I remember my parents buying me a Troll Doll and getting pissed because you're supposed to make a wish and it wasn't coming true. Aww. So I was like, this is like, something's wrong. Like, this is broken. Yeah, like, my, why is my wish not coming true? Why am I not skinny? What's that? I remember that one. What is that? I remember, it was like, oh, it was probably like a creepy doll. Thing that talked. Teddy Ruxpin? Did it talk? I feel like, I'm thinking, um, what is that movie with Mark Wahlberg? Ted. I feel like it looked like that doll. Like a teddy bear? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you know what was really weird that I remember being exposed to? Was Pee Wee Herman. I was like, why was that show so popular? I think if they tried to make it now, nobody would watch it. Right. <laughs> he would yeah, laugh really weird. Probably, yeah. Probably you know who was married? Pee Wee Herman's married. Was married. He went peace out already. Married? To a woman. I was just going to ask that. I didn't know how to ask that very um, correct. He was married to a woman. A woman. Yes. Yeah. Biological woman, I believe. The teddy bear that talked and played tapes, I think. Yes, that was Teddy Ruxpin. Oh, I remember those. The bear that you could put cassette, cassette tapes in. Oh, damn. Oh, right, but that was more so like the kids have toys. Oh, he read to you. He put tapes in and, and he read to you. So creepy and so weird. It's like the toys that would raise children. Right. So now we're going to go in with a little bit of pink press on gel. So our parents didn't have to raise us in toys wood. Exactly. Just no, rewind. No, just rewind the cassette. And then watching the same movie over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, I'm so bored during the summer. <laughs> just watching the same film over. And over, and over. And again, and again, and again. All five DVDs that we had. And now kids can't even watch the same thing like all the way through. I had a big bird that I think came from Avon that played tapes. From Avon? That's not creepy at all. <laughs> can you imagine? I can imagine giving that to my kids. I'd be, I'd be freaked out. I had a mother goose night like that was like that too. Oh my goodness. Yes. Who's here? Raina, she's gonna go party now. The Selena of Tucson. It just depends. How's Alyssa gonna get home then if we're in the Okay. We'll see you tomorrow then. My kids don't even know what VHS is. Really? VH, Are you needing to? Yeah. With what? Raina? I thought you were gonna take the bus. Why? Why don't you have Nisi pick you up? Doesn't she have a car? Oh. What, what time does she get out? Oh, let's bake that for one minute. We're gonna get our pink bubblegum gel ready. Let's make sure everything is dry, yes. So remember you guys, when working with bubblegum gel, less is more. And then we spread it out nice and thin. Thin at the side, thin at the cuticle. Beautiful. And then you're ready to go, literally. Yeah, that's so crazy. The secret to bubblegum gel is you want to make sure your skin is dry. If you have any kind of lanolin or lotion product, that will make it sticky and not like adhere properly to your finger. Or you can also use a brush too. To apply it? Yes. If some people, you know, some people don't like touching products, which is totally like fair. Yeah. So you can just what, apply it. What type of brush would you ever recommend for that because it have to be harder? I would use a happy gel brush. Do you need to etch the inside of the tips when using bubblegum gel? Um, you can if you want to, and we have videos on how to do that. You can use acetone, you can use primer. We actually are working on a 
product that will be coming out later this year that is specifically designed to scrub the inside to etch it. You can also use a nail drill, but since the monomer came in contact with the inside of the brush because we put our acrylic on the inside, that will actually already kind of like chemically etch the inside already too. Great question. Oh, these things are so tiny. For me, it's always easier to do longer nails than to do shorter because I'm so used to it. And Miss Kendra loves a sculpted nail because she loves the arch. She's all about the arch. I love it. It's perfect. She's like, I don't like flat nails. She can't. I'm going to freeze it. Look at that, you guys. Like having a flat booty. Like mine? <laughs> You're just so skinny. I have no rump. It's so skinny. I have no cake. <laughs> It literally took longer to do the design than to do the nails on. Yes, I know. Oh, the ivory one is so cute. My 18-year-old daughter did the set with black. They were short, so little for Valentine's Day. Really? Where did she go? What did you do for Valentine's Day? What did I do? Mm -hmm. One of my clients actually has um, breast cancer. Mm -hmm. She got diagnosed with breast cancer, and her family doesn't live here, so I kind of like adopted her, and um, my boyfriend and I went over there to like check on her, make sure she was okay. Keep her company. Yeah. Actually got a new TV. Speaking of VHS, her TV was still like a VHS. With the built-in? Yeah, so it was a huge box it was like, TV. It was actually one of the big ones, but it was, yeah. And it was like 100 pounds. So we moved that out of the wall. I did not do that, but Cody did. Moved it out of the way, and we spent the evening with her. Just chatting. Watching VHS tapes? <laughs> we set up the other TV for her, so. Um, her, I guess her workers got together and got her a, a black TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so oh, nice. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of technology, my mom wants me to get her an Alexa, but do you have to pay like a monthly subscription for Alexa? No. Oh, so you don't have to pay like a monthly service? Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to order tip nails gel with new color and I can't find it. Come again? Tip, it says, I'm trying to order tips nails gel with new color and I can't find it. The nails with nude? Like colored nails? They've been discontinued, my love. We only have them in French and ombre. So now I'm sealing the inside of the nail with a little bit of Wonder Gel, because Wonder Gel is wonderful. Um, she did her nails and makeup just to look cute at work. She works at the Taco Bell down the road. Ooh! That's awesome. Did she get herself a man? <laughs> I spent, what did I do with Valentine's Day? Nothing. Aww. Nobody hits me up. Nobody says, hey Max, want to go out, go to the movies, go to church. Exciting. Let's bake that now for one minute. Well, you made her day brighter. Yeah. That's, that's good. I blind the two year son has Alexa and a Google. I bet that helps out with dating. I would like to ask her about like, the weather. Can you have a conversation with her? I mean, sometimes. But you can ask about what, whatever, or like Google things. You can be like, uh, what channel is Selena on? Or, you know, really? Is that yeah. smart? No, you Google anything. Like you, anything you would Google, you can set timers. You can set, you know, set me a 15 minute timer. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you set up with your phone? Yeah, so there's an app on your phone. I also freak my children out with it too because when they're being assholes, they're not answering their phones. Mm -hmm. They turn on all the electrons on full blast inside the house. How many do you have? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. My mom says that her sister had one and she's like, I want an Alexa. <laughs> she's like, I live in America and I don't even have one. always be your Valentine along with the pink army. I am married to the game. <laughs> That's what, who said that? Krishan? Oh my gosh, Krishan is hot. With blue. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the inside for a few seconds. Go ahead and take that. Krishan rock. It's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe, yo, it's a vibe. If she can sing, so can I. For real, just as Krishan Rock. Okay. Did you see the reunion for Bad Girls? No one. <laughs> That's bonkers to me. God. Else because nobody knows what he looks like, so I would not get. Oh, she got his face, like yes. blue face. Yes, a tattoo on her face, her whole cheek. Is blue. Blue, the, the guy. Yeah. The producer. Yes. Yes. In air quotes. What does blue look like? Her fucking side of her face. Is he handsome? Really? No. I don't know I what it looks so. like. I've never seen that. I don't have Zeus. I don't want to pay five dollars a month. That's expensive. I've watched. Now that we talked about it, it's gonna pop up in like your news feed or something. It's hearing me. She's hearing me. Krishan Rock. Yeah. Was she pretty before? I know she has. She's missing a tooth. Oh my gosh! Yeah, her front tooth is. Yeah. <laughs> she is Blue took it. I think it was from getting in a fight with it. 
girl club thing. Really? I don't know. Read the yeah. So you have Zeus TV then? No, it, I saw it, I don't know, I saw it on like Reels or Instagram or something like that. It wasn't something that I was like, I would never pay to see. Really? Yeah, absolutely. You have to get Zeus TV now, so that way you can stay up to date with yeah, all the, the bad girls. No. Let me know in the comments below, you guys, if Zeus TV is worth it. Because apparently Nini is on there now, so. Who is? Nini from The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Doing what? She was the host of Bad Girls, um, not, uh, Baddies East. Oh, she was the host of the reunion. So Zeus is bringing the money then, if they bring in Nini. This set would be perfect for Easter. Oh, yes, kind of. When is Easter? Honestly, I was thinking of when somebody was saying, like, oh, that's Easter, and I think it's March 31st. Oh, the end of the month? April. It rotates. This year, um, it, it started on Valentine's Day. That was Ash Wednesday. Yeah, so if, I think it's March 31st. Tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's worth it if you like to see drama, it's worth it. Oh my gosh. You like drama? <laughs> it depends. But they get physical, don't they? Like Jocelyn's Cabaret and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And those shows are really low budget. Was that her? I barely recognize me. Natalie tried to be Gypsy to be on the show also. Really? So we're, gonna use, March, we're gonna use the gentle bit to begin to blend in the cuticle. Yeah, that did not look like Nini at all. Like, <laughs> talk about plastic surgery to the max. Max, are you playing live on TikTok? We are, yes. We got one more hand to do. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so shaky today. You're not too bad. Aww. I need to plug in my drill because it's happening. You're right, it's on the 31st. Yay! It's a vibe. It's a vibe. I wonder if they have a new season of Jocelyn's Cabaret. Kendra's Cabaret, that's what we need to do. <laughs> Aren't they adorbs? They're so cutesy boopsy. They're so short but like super comfy. Yeah, these are all really curly this year. Maybe because Lent started earlier. Yeah, well that's how it goes up, okay? Mm -hmm. 40 days after Lent. 40 days. It's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe, yo. Yeah. Oh but I do like my Sukiana though. I didn't know she used to fight with um, Mama D. Sukiana? I have no idea what that is. You haven't seen the, the, the viral video of the girl? She's like interviewing her and she's like, so you're a musician? She's like, I don't do magic. What is your girl's name? Sukiana. Yes. That's not Sukiana. The one that does the awkward interviews is the other girl. Oh, okay. Su Sukiana was the one that was getting interviewed. Okay. What speed do you set this at? Right now we are at 25,000 RPM, lovely. And we are very gently blending in the cuticle for the fans to see. So that way these nails look super sculpted because Kendra's actual natural nail is on the flatter side, but she likes her nail like her bum. She likes it nice and curvy. I like working with Razor Clear because it dries faster, so I don't have to wait so long for the polymerization process. I like how And literally, like, we just put um, Queen Hard Gel Top Coat on top, and she's done. She's ready to go for, like, how long did you go last time? A month almost? I don't remember. 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 I don't that was probably a, such an exhausting trip. Oh my gosh. It was not relaxing at all. Because I got... Oh, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. I got to Disney World like super late. Like, yeah. I got, well, I got to Orlando like around 11 o'clock at night was by the time I got to my hotel room. Oh. And then, you know, there's a time difference. So I'm like three hours behind. Yeah. So like I woke up the next day like at noon. Oh. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love these so much. Isn't she popping? She's giving us Polly Pocket stripper fantasy today. Oh, look at that cuticle, you guys. It is blended. As many, like, I call myself the human pin cushion. I really should get an allergy shot. Max, I got something in my super scoop, and I can't figure out what it is. It's like a big crystal gem with a little piece of squares attached in a separate baggie. That is a practice tip display stand. So you, you, with the little squares, you put them on top of the thing, and then you can put tips on there, and you can do like designs or practice your nails. <laughs> Round face, you want to do those labels? Yeah. So now we're going to go in with the easy bit and make sure that there's no product stuck to the skin. You're welcome. And then Sydney Army helping out with the stand to design nails. Mm-hmm. Lots of cool little knickknacks in the super scoop. Don't these look like sculpted acrylics, you guys? Focus camera. Too bad you can't wear diamonds. 
but then it would get tangled a lot in extensions because you are the queen of the hair extension. You need a crown just of hair. Like all the swatches, like make a crown out of them. Oh my gosh, speaking of hair, so what's her name? The girl from My Day Fiance? Ashley. She's pregnant in real life. She's a black girl that's married to, that's marrying the guy from Ecuador. She's pregnant. Yes. And real life is pregnant. Huh? Yes. We're all his baby. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Ecuadorian, which is like their neighbors. Did you see the episode where they do it in the bathroom at the coffee shop? Yeah. Yes. They're yeah, like really very uh active. Yes. Yeah. But she doesn't look as top heavy. She like she doesn't dress good for her body type. Yeah. She just I'm like, girl, you need a like a bra to hold them up because she's got big ones, but they like they're 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 fighting. Her her <laughs> They're angry. Her boobies are mad at each other because they are far apart. Like the Mississippi River went through right <laughs> Oh that's funny. But she seems like a little bit of a bridezilla. So did they actually get married? In real life? Yes. yes. Oh, wow. Wow. And then Clayton. No, Sam, the one from uh, Mississippi with the girl from Indonesia. They are getting married. They got married. Oh my gosh. They got married in the Islamic ceremony and then they're having like a, thought, a civil wedding. I thought I just read something that she like ran off. No, no, no. That's the Peruvian one. That's um, Clayton and Annalie. Oh, didn't the, the sister and the brother get together? That's um, the one from Mississippi. Okay. Oh, and then the, uh, my other new obsession oh, is Tim from uh, The Single Life. Oh my gosh, he like makes guns for a living or something. Tim? I thought so. No, he's the one that looks like a Sharpay, not a Sharpay, a French Bulldog and Michael Jackson had a baby. Tim. And he's best friends with the girl that's dating Jamal. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. Then she, he dated the like, Colombian chick. Yes. yes. And he talks with his eyes closed, they're like half open. And he sits over cross-legged all yes. the time. Like, I'm like, he's crushing it, literally. How's your dad? Hope he's doing a lot better. He's doing good, thank you for asking. He's very excited to go see his sister Norma this weekend. So we are going to see it with Queen Hard Gel Topcoat, which is unfortunately sold out right now, but you guys know this is our Hard Gel Topcoat that is indestructible. This will not stain at all. And remember, brush it on nice and thin. Make sure you get those sides. I feel bad for the Indonesian girl, though. The one that her brother, her sister is dating the guy's brother. Why? Because he's, like, gonna go to jail. Oh, yeah. okay. No, he doesn't seem like he's gonna offer her a bright future. No. Maybe they should move back to Indonesia. Maybe. <laughs> Probably get a really good chin implant. For dental implants. <laughs> Cheap. I thought it was a joke, like when they said that her sister was seeing his brother, but apparently it's real. So the brother married them and he had it like a trucker hat on backwards when he officiated the ceremony. Oh I was like, only in America. Is the same gel very thick? Uh, it is a medium to thicker viscosity, so it's in between our two thick gels. So it's thicker than Wonder Gel, but thinner than um, Dom Top. Dom Top is our thickest hard gel top, semi hard gel top coat, but this one is a fully hard gel top coat, so this will not soak off. Cousin Manu, he actually is working at a restaurant, I heard this morning. Yes, because I talked to um, Aunt Rosa, Aunt, no, Aunt Rocio, which is where he's staying at, and uh, he's working at a restaurant now, which I think is great. Keeping him busy, keeping him away. Mm, it's so glossy too, huh? And then there's the old lady from 90 Day Fiance Single Life too. She's dating the Cuban guy, Ruben the Cuban. Which one? I think her name is Debbie. Debbie? Oh my gosh, what's his face? His mom? Debbie was, she was dating like a 25 year old Moroccan guy and she went to Morocco and the guy's like, I just want to marry you for papers. Oh, the crazy thing? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's dating a Cuban guy. And she told the Cuban guy, like she was talking about how he dresses. And I was like, have you seen yourself in the mirror? That's like the pot calling the kettle black. She's like the, the artist? Here, so, so. Yes. She was super like eccentric. Very much so. Oh she just needs a, a boy toy. Uh, literally, one that you plug in with batteries. Yeah. Oh my god, speaking of something with batteries, the. Yeah. Right, what's her name? Chantel? Yeah. With the Greek guy? Yeah. 
she was getting mad because he was not like all over her and she was like oh i don't like this like you should be paying more attention to me i was like you've known him for like two days I was like, take it easy. And the guy's like, you know, I'd like to take my time. And she's like, well, we don't have time. Wow. Yeah, she was like, I'm not feeling it. I think, I honestly think she gave it up already. And he's kind of like, whatever now. Right. Because he got what he wanted. Right. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. That's crazy. And her ex-husband is doing really well and she's not, apparently. Yeah. She just needs somebody to take care of her. Needs. Uh, we save all our videos, lovely. And the other one that's really creepy too is the Ukrainian girl. Which one? Is there one? She kind of looks like Madonna a little bit. Is she the one that's like New Orleans? I don't think anymore. But she's blonde, she has blue eyes, and her mom came from the Ukraine and she's living with her now. And she went to the LA. Oh, no, I know what you're talking about. That. And she's like real, a little psycho. Yeah, she had like the country guy, the big, tall country Yes, guy, yeah. she's not with him anymore. Now she's dating like this LA F-boy yeah, guy. Yeah, he's like trying to, she wants to support her. She's just one of his girls. Yes, pretty much. And he got her like a gig for, um, like to be in a movie or something. Like a very low budget movie. Yeah, her eyes are very blue guys. Yes. We're going to bake these bad boys now for one minute inside the king lamp. Her mom is very pushy also about her having kids. She's like, I know, I want a grandbaby. What kind of nail tips do you use when you paste the insides of them? You would use the same nail, my love, but you would not paint more than 70% of the nail because then the light will not penetrate through the design. So when we do a design like this that's encapsulated, we want to not cover any part that comes in contact with the nail bed, so that way the gel will adhere to the natural nail. And then also turn the head upside down and seal the inside with a gel top coat like Shiny or Wonder Gel and cure that also for one minute accordingly to make sure everything is fused and sealed together and the nails last a long time and they don't go anywhere. They broke. She broke up with him. She was mad because he spent Thanksgiving in Arizona. Here. I don't know, in Tucson or where, but... He spent it in Arizona because I guess his kids live here. And she was mad. She was like, what about me? And I was like, well, I mean, if he has to pick between you and his kids, I would have I would hope he would choose his children. Right. As they should. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. So after the hand comes out of the lamp, we wait 10 seconds and then we're going to hit it with cotton candy cuticle oil. Fantasy. And the shape is one, two, three, go black label sculpted stiletto short because she is serving us body yadi yadi from the side. Look at that curve. And the glitter is illusion from the circus collection. They're so short yet so pointy. Oh, thank you, lovely. You're so cute and short. And there you guys have it. I think that's our money shot right there. Beautiful. Well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this little demo. We're going to head on over to TikTok to the other hand. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next live demo. Bye, everybody.